Yo, 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 welcome to the ambition. How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? How you feeling this evening? Man, how this shit, but I'm good. <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up. So so we just got letting the uh, listeners hear um um the enemy joint and everything like that. So that was played uh before we uh we uh started this conversation with you and everything. Um a lot of questions with that uh with that song, you know what I'm saying? Um especially like from my end and everything too. So um well what I want to do is I want to give a backstory for the people that don't already know who you are. Um introduce yourself so with the dollar sign, right? Yeah, that's my that's my name on the uh on Instagram and YouTube, but uh, I just I just go by so and the, the dollar sign, but I I spell it out on the YouTube and Instagram. All right, bad, bad. I'm listening to you. Are you, uh, what was the question? No, 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 no. I was listening to you uh, finish uh, explaining what um, um, the soul with the dollar sign was. Oh, the name? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was just, I was just, I didn't want to interrupt you. You was, you was in the middle of saying something. Oh, yeah, no, I was just playing uh, my next, I go by soul, but uh, it is with the dollar sign, so just a regular S. Okay. But on my on, on my Instagram and YouTube, it's I spell it out so people because uh the damn algorithm on my own damn Google don't catch the, the the dollar sign, so I gotta spell the whole shit out for everybody. And so with the dollar sign, and don't you know? I got you. I got you. But yeah. So so can you can, can can you give us um um the reason why you name yourself? What significance is it to you as an artist? I used to go by Illogic, and uh, I really don't remember why. Why the fuck I went by that name? Okay. I guess every rapper has like a dumbass name they used to go by. Hmm. And um, uh, I uh, there was a, there was I found out there was a rapper named Logic already, and he was from Maryland too. So I was like, man, so I wasn't trying to like seem like I was jacking this shit. Right. So I changed. My, so I was like, it was like four years ago. I changed my name. And um, uh, it was basically I really didn't know what to call myself, yo. Yeah? And so I just like I just was thinking and shit. And I was I, I had up went through a lot of shit, um, like losing my brother and shit back then. Okay. So I was like really like introspective and shit and thinking I was like just thinking like it, and like at the deep down and everything and like what am I? I'm not just a soul, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I ain't wanna there was other artists, like a few like not really known artists, but like they had the same name. So I was like to differentiate myself, I put the dollar sign. And a part of the reason I did the dollar sign is because when you, you know what I'm saying, when you split the S, there's like two sides to the S. And I'm a Pisces, so um, part of our, like the two fish, so like kind of had like two, well, kind of like two persons in one. So like that was part of the reason I, I, yeah, it was one of the uh, reasons I went with the name also, and also like um in the Bible with the serpent on the pole. Okay. You know what I'm saying that uh when they had you know what I'm saying I don't know if you know the story about it. No, when tell they, me the story. Tell me the story, because the listeners may not know yeah. the story. So tell us the story. Back by, yeah, back in the uh, Moses days and shit, when um the Israelites were going off, and they they got bit by um. A, a snake and they're poisoned and shit and Moses built up a damn serpent on the pole thing like a golden staff and it's basically you know the sign like the medical sign today that's where that comes from oh like okay a, it's wrapped around like on the ambulance okay like a sign of healing okay. so they basically looked up on the serpent on the pole and shit and it was like they got healed from that so like you know I do a couple different variables I used to put the name and shit um, some people see it as like an evil fucking thing, but I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm about the most high all day, so I ain't with all that shit. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. I got you. So, so spirit does uh, the spirituality play in an in effect into your music as an artist? Oh yeah, like a lot of my songs, even if like the main subject isn't like about uh, the Bible or like spirituality, you know, and, like. I'll, I'll drop a few lines here and there, like you'll hear me say certain things. Um, but um, I 
how do you plan on eventually, you know, how, like, Ye dropped the, the Jesus is God album. Right. How do you plan on uh, dropping the album specifically, like, centered on, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Okay. I actually have, I actually have a couple of, um, I know, probably about, like, seven tracks for this project, you know what I'm saying, on drop, drop. Before that, I have an R&B project I want to drop, though, before that, I'm, 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 I'm eventually think I'm going to just go, like, straight into spiritual music, you know? Okay, 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 okay. I like Bob Marley mixed with Tupac, I guess. Okay, okay. Oh, that's it. That's a good mix. That's a good yeah. mix. That's a good mix. Okay. And you said you're working on that. You work on that project. Um, um, now is, 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 um, is enemy on that project? On, on which one? Uh, um, the one, on the... the one you said that's mixed with the Bob Marley and Tupac. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I was just giving like, kind of like an idea of like what kind of shit I'm going to do. Okay. With the rap and, uh, I got a couple of little, I like, I like reggae. I got a little reggae influence to put something on here and there. But no, nah, Enemy, Enemy is not on any project right now. So I might, I might drop it on this um, upcoming R&B project, which will most likely be uh, like a double-sided type joint. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it will be on there, but I do. Uh, um, it's already released and shit, so. But if anything, it'll be on there, but right now it's just a single. Okay. And I actually wrote it like three years ago, so it's like it's an old it's an old song to me. Okay. I wrote it three years ago, recorded it like two years ago. Okay. And just no wait, yeah, and I just dropped it. Uh, I actually dropped it on Valentine's Day last year. Okay. And then yeah, so tell me tell me a little bit to get to the video part, but I mean, the weekend took like three years to drop that damn uh, Try Me video, so I can't... Right, I can't, right, right. Uh, you, can't right. Rush, you can't rush the masterpiece, right? You can't rush the masterpiece, man. <laughs> that shit's gonna come when it's gonna come to you. Right, right, right. So since we're, since we're talking about the enemy joint, we're gonna, we're gonna take a quick pause. We're gonna let the, uh, the listeners listen to it uh, one more time, and then we're gonna uh, um, we're gonna talk about that song, man, and, um, and get your interpretation as to uh why you wrote it and what it really means i just want to love you i just want to love you you need your body next to me can't feel the energy I feel like we're meant to be Just how the end should be Something's getting in between You and me in these sheets Treat love like the enemy You'll be the death of me me, am I wrong for writing this song? Uh, for fighting this long to let you know now when I write it in stone. Put a ring up on it, for a nigga get a chance to put a finger on it. Put it down when I put my thing up on it. You moaning, don't win to miss a single moment. Uh, my missing component, position for misses is open. No mistress when you ask my woman. Queen love a homie All I need in this life for sin Is my God above and this God is sent I Swear I'm content Once we sweating inside your bed Need your body next to me Can't feel the energy I feel like we're meant to be Just how the end should be Something's getting in between You and me in these sheets Treat love like the enemy You'll be the death of me When I just wanna love you Yeah, you I just want to love you Think I'm just trying to fuck 
Think I got luck with a nine of must. Bitches out here, I ain't find the sluts. Can't lie, so I'm tempting me to try once. But you got my soul in a hole. Got a grip on the nigga that these hoes can't control. Got a love that I'm hoping to grow. Want to see emotional roller coaster slows. Either way down for the drive. Even when way down, cause I'm high. Pull your panties way down to the side, then you say you don't fuck in the ride. Hold up, you ain't say that the last time I rolled up. Don't front, always show love when I show up. You just like games and hold in controllers. Knowing you gon' lead us to the grave, like Cleopatra did to Mark Anthony. Swear we were, them in the past had to be. You're the only soul I know matching me. Apart we were, but together masterpiece. That could actually end a casualty. Leave you not winning a nigga after me. Probably hit the ass of life, come after me And spend eternity in peace happily I just need your body next to me Can't feel the energy I feel like we're meant to be Just how the end should be Something's getting Go, there you go, soul, soul with enemy. So we're gonna go right back. We're gonna go right, right back to him, and we definitely gotta be able to understand. First, we wanna be able to understand what motivated the song for you to even write it. Uh, so I wrote it like three three years ago, and it was uh, all just it was just all female singing, like here and there. It was like real close and shit, but um, it was never like we never really got in a relationship. Like shit was kind of like you know what I'm saying, one of those things, one of those things. Okay. Um. So yeah, that was basically the inspiration behind it. Um, I don't know if you seen the video. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah. But the funny thing about the video is the video has like, like I came up with the concept of the video like a week before the shoot. Right. It was supposed to be like some. It was supposed to be like some damn uh, some like basic ass shit. Like me and dude was talking like just just getting my like the girl in the video is my my, my um, current girlfriend right now, and uh, it was just it was basically gonna be just me rapping to her on the bed type shit. And I happened to see somebody on IG doing that same shit. I think he actually got posted on uh Say Cheese or something. Okay. And uh. And I seen that, I was like, man, I can't do this shit now. And it was like basic as fuck. So I was just like thinking, I was like, man, I was like, how can I make this shit like, like dope? Right. So I was just thinking, like, just listen. I started listening to it, and I was just like thinking in my head how to make it like a movie. Right. So I was like, I just came up with the concept to, I wanted to come up with like a Halloween concept, kind of like a movie, like a horror movie type shit. Yeah. I was actually planning on dropping it on Halloween, but I was like, I ain't feel like waiting that long. Like, fuck it. <laughs> right. it yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shit, sure, what's that? Let's, we can still have two and a half months now, some shit. Mm-hmm. But now, nah, um, yeah, so like the concept of the song really, really don't have shit to do with the concept but uh, or the video, but it kind of, uh, it has an eerie sound to it. Yeah, so kinda, like, yeah. It had a good, it had a good meshing, you know, like it meshed well together. But like if you, I don't know, it was weird, but I, I like how it turned out. But like I had people, it's funny because I had <laughs> my girls, uh, 
my girl's aunt actually commented on the video. Mm-hmm. And she was like, she was like, um, she said, so like her my, my girl's mom basically told her aunt like, oh, I'm, I'm a good dude and shit. I treat her nice. But she was like, oh, I hope I hope uh, that she was like that knife and how you tied her up scared me. I'm like, better not hurt her. I'm like, yo, like, right. <laughs> That's just the art, so, man. It's the like, art. I, I it's, it's art, yo. Like I've seen way worse videos. Like Eminem be be making songs actually like talking about like killing his baby mama and shit. Right, right. The song ain't got shit. The song ain't got shit to do with the video. Right. And it's not about her. Like the songs over. But I had to reply to her comment. I said she like she she like being tied up. Right. <laughs> oh, you told her that? You told her about your girl. She liked being tied up? Yeah, if you go on the videos, write the comments. Right, right, right. And plus, yeah. and plus, not to have a spoiler. No, nah, I don't want to say that because I don't want to have a spoiler on that. Um, I yeah. want people to actually, oh, yeah, I ain't going to comment actually on the video because I want people to be able to so hear that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's all good, though. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because what I was about to say what might have been like a major spoiler, so I ain't going to say anything on it. Um, yeah, we definitely want people to go to YouTube and everything to be able to see that. Um, and let people know, I mean, I mean, YouTube is so, so with a dollar sign, right? Yeah, it's, um, all spelled out, um, regular S O U L W I C H D O L L A R S I G N for people that don't know how to spell. It's all right. spelled out one word, no spaces, so with a dollar sign. Okay. Um, yeah, YouTube and uh, Instagram the same. All right, bet, 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 bet. So, um, are you planning on performing at? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, you know, on stage and everything like that. Shit, I might. I mean, I might have to. Uh, just like with this R and B concept uh, project, I want to do. I gotta kind of do some singing lessons and shit. You know, I'm no. Mind. That was you on. A, that was you singing, right? Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yeah. You did good on that. But you said you saying but you saying you could be better. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got always, you. Always looking to improve. Like I never really I always wrote R and B songs, but I never actually planned on singing them. Okay. Um but I do I know like in my, if I stay in my key and shit, like I can I can sound straight. Right. right I do right. wanna um uh, I can do, I do wanna um uh, do some lessons and shit before I actually sing live and, okay. and do the uh, the project. Right. I want to make sure my shit's crisp. You know, I ain't trying to kill nobody. <laughs> right, right, right. And plus, you know, they got they got stuff. You know, you know, um, equipment, and everything to be able to help with that too and stuff. Because like how you said with the weekend, right? Weekend was writing stuff before. Weekend wasn't singing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The weekend was writing stuff for other people. Hey, that then. Boy. That boy though, like if I could sing like him, bro, I would, I would have been made it. Yeah, I got like so many. I actually think I can write R and B better than I can rap. Oh, I just I ain't, yeah. I ain't had the voice though. But I'm I'm mm-hmm. trying to work on it though. Like when I when I drop this R and B project, yo, yeah, like people gonna as long as my voice sound good. Right, right, I might right. have to pass it off to somebody else to sing this shit. Actually, actually, some songs I had I had wrote in mind for uh, to pitch to the weekend. Okay. That's like my he's like my main um uh, R um R and B influence. Yeah, he that bit yeah, yeah, he the business, you know what I'm saying? And it is crazy, you know, when you hear his story and stuff, it's like he was like, you know, wasn't even thinking about really the singing part and stuff, and he just like I don't, I don't know really like what went through his head, I was like, you know what, fuck it, man. I'm I'm gonna go in and sing my own He probably got frustrated with people taking too long <laughs> or some shit or being Unappreciated, unappreciated for his art and everything. He was like, "Man, let me do this my own." He just took off on that shit. Yeah, man. I like that. I like that pop star joint. That what? It's, I think it's called Pop Star. Is it called? I'm a mo- no Star Boy. Star Boy. My bad. Star oh, Boy. Yeah. Star Boy is that shit. And you know the shit that he did with uh with uh Fifty Shades of Grey and all that shit. That was like dope too. But that Star Boy shit. Yeah, man. That's like my joint. With Daft Punk. I that's really Older shit, yo, that that mellow, like trippy kind of sounding shit, like yeah. his older shit, I'm like House of Balloons and House of Balloons. I never heard of that. But I fucked with uh, what's that one he dropped? Um, the one about Selena. He dropped a couple years ago. Mm, no, I ain't heard that. Here, uh, melancholy, melancholy, some shit. No, I'm gonna have to check that out. Melancholy, melancholy, something. 
My Dear Melancholy or something like no, that. No, I, I, I got to check that out. I got to check that out. So, um, so, 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 Weekend is a good, a good influence on the R&B side. What is a good influence for you on the rap side? Because you can kind of like switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Because you said R&B is pretty much your strongest in rap. So, who's like the rap inspiration for you? On um, my early, my early days, I'd have to say definitely Pop. Like he's a, he's the one that got me really the poetry side of it. Like really, just like not even. Like, really just coming from the heart type shit. Right. And, um, uh, really, um, my, my tracks that are more political. I got a lot of shit I haven't recorded that I need to drop soon, but you'll see more of that. Like, my political size and shit, I talk about, like, real life shit. Okay, okay. Um, as far as rhyme scheme, and I would say early Eminem, like, the way he just, like, put shit together. Like, just crazy rhyme schemes, um, Nah, more recently, I get a lot of J. Cole comparisons. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But, um, I, 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 don't, I don't listen to him that much just because of that. It, like, cause it was a period in like 2011, 2012 mm -hmm. where I was like addicted to, I was addicted to J. Cole. Like, that's all I would listen to. Right. And I guess it just, uh, I kind of um, adopted a sound kind of. Right, right, so I right. listening. Right, I got you, I got you, I got you, because cause you don't want to sound similar. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I try to break off my own shit. Um, shit, who I got a question on Eminem. Uh -huh. Right, and this came up today. I seen this. Charlemagne the God said in a versus battle, no, people can beat Eminem. They say like Eminem would get washed. That's the thing. How you feel about that? That's like current news. I think Eminem in his prime, nobody can really touch him. I don't know about today. Hmm. I don't really, I don't really listen to him like that today. Right, 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 right. But his old shit, like his old shit, like I, I would have called him top five in his prime. Even though like a lot of his songs were like kind of fucking around. Even when he was fucking around, like saying stupid shit, it, just his rhyme schemes and just his uh, play on words and shit like that. Like right. forgot about Dre. Yeah. That seemed like it was a freestyle, didn't it? Bruh. <laughs> that seemed like it was just a freestyle. I feel like you just... He would say some wild, off-the-wall shit. You know? It didn't even go with the song. <laughs> like, if you really listen to a Dre part, and then you got Eminem part, Eminem part was like, an arc and I, call us as a and I, I don't think right. about Like, it was just like, what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> shit, you know how rappers had the same message, like, verse for verse, kind of? His shit was all the way different. You know and he would saying? have like rhymes within rhymes, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what else? He killed, he killed Jay Z on Renegade too. I yeah. Feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I still gotta hear that new Nas joint. They said he killed Nas on his own. Bruh, I didn't even hear nah, that. Shit. That that rare joint, yo. Uh. -huh. You heard it? No, -uh, nope. Bro. I ain't hear it yet. They've been telling me about it. Bro, you gotta listen to rare. I heard it, bro. He surprised me, yo. Cause I like. His, uh, I ain't, I don't know. I ain't listened to him in a while, but he sounded like he was rebirthed or some shit on that. I think he probably took some shrooms or something. <laughs> that, that video, I like, see the video, like, uh -huh. I don't know, just his vibe and what he's saying. Like, he's saying something about lyrically I'm a Mars or something, walking on stars and shit. Right, right, right. Right. And, and um, his producer, Hit Boy, on that shit. Hit like, Boy, the business. Parent, you know? I, was, I, was, I was impressed, yo. I got, actually got to the rest of the album, but that Rare joint, though. That's the name of the song with Nas, Rare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, people have been telling me about that, and I was like, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out when I get to it. But back, yeah, he literally was staying on that shit. Damn. So back to you, back to you. So um, those are your influence on, on, your, on the rap side. So give the listeners an idea of what it is like, like with that song that you did with Enemy, like what was your... Or any other song, what is like your your mental preparation? You know what I'm saying? Does the song just come to you, or do you just have an idea what you want to write, or what's your what's your process of recording? In my earlier times, like my earlier like years ago, shit would usually come to me. Like I'd be like it just I would hear like a beat in my head, mm -hmm. and. 
back then, I was reading, like, what I need to get back on. I was reading a lot, like, the dictionary a lot. And, like, I was, every time I hear a word, I'd be, like, trying to find a rhyme with it and shit. I still have, like, old papers that I'll write rhymes, trying to make rhyme with and shit. Right. Everything that rhymes with each other, half rhymes and shit. Um, shit, I'm going to start going back through those. But more recently, like, with Enemy, I had the beat, and it just, the uh, it's more like um, I, I come up with the uh, the hum, like the chorus first. Okay. That's how I was, I, the rhythm kind of came first, and I had to fill in the. I felt I was thinking about like how the beat make me feel and shit, mm-hmm. or what what kind of emotion it evoke. And it's it's, it's kind of, I don't know. I can't really explain it. It's kind of just like coming up with the sound first, and then thinking of what matches with it. Mm-hmm. And then just came, just that came first, the hook came. Then I wrote the first verse. It, it took a little second to write the first verse. Okay. Um. And I was actually thinking of the second verse started completely different at first. I, I scrapped the second verse and I rewrote it. Um. But yeah, that it um you know, it came relatively easy on that song. Okay. But, um. Everything else, I usually with the beat for a while and just kind of like you know try to make love to the beat right 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 five ten <laughs> like I try to listen to every little every little like instrument and shit and try to think how can I can play off with it right right but I right. usually um I usually try to make the hook first and the the rhythm the melody and um I go from there and just try to sit and thought and shit and what I want to say. Right. Sometimes it comes to me. Sometimes I gotta, I gotta write a thought like a bitch. Yo. I'm like, it's my perfectionist side of me. And I'm like, <clears throat> I gotta. Sometimes I be sitting there like, shit, I can't write right now. I usually write best when I actually have inspiration to. Like, if I try to force it, it really mm-hmm. don't come out as good. But like, when I'm in, everyone, I'm really like happy on that emotion or something at that time. Right. Like I gotta write right now. That's when I really go off and shit. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, cool, cool. So um so so after after this after this joint right now, we're gonna be playing this. Um and um bringing people over there to the video. Um um so they could be able to check it out. Like I said, I don't wanna have no spoilers and everything. Um, what is the next project you're working on um right after enemy? Like is is there like a whole project or another single people should look after or what? I got a couple singles that I want to drop first. I got um this this track called "Love Me Now," which I I got somebody collabing on. I need to get him to record his his uh he's on the second well you know he's on the first verse. And um I got I just got fun, I got a bunch of singles on the drop, but project wise um. I do want to drop that R&B project maybe early to mid next year. Okay. And, and after that, I got that um, I got that project about like it's basically about like uh like Bible God type shit. Okay. Main is the main focus on it, and it's and I don't mean like no gospel, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't mean like gospel sounding shit. It's like real uh, it's like um. I don't know if you want to say hardcore Bible and shit, but mm-hmm. but it is like you know truth music basically. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, so give us give us um give us your final words for the for, for the evening, and everything to all the uh, the people the people listening. What do you want them to know about you specifically? Um, and what to expect from your music in the future. me on my Instagram, my YouTube, and definitely check that video out because the song with uh, Enemy with the video, it, it goes together very, very well. And um, it's, a, it's, it's a more of a movie and a music video. And um, definitely what you'll get from me is I don't really conform to today's standards. Like, 
I'm not really trying to sound like anybody. Like, I'm not making shit to be on the radio, even though some of my shit could be played on the radio, but I don't know. It depends on your taste, but I really, uh, I really try to stick to who I am and what I'm about. And I'm not, I'm not gonna ever sell out for, you know what I'm saying? For no fucking record deal or shit. You know, shit I'll be hearing people doing for record deals, like, mm -hmm, nah. Right. I'm good. Uh, I'm, uh, shit, man. <laughs> I really just, uh, I want people to know that the music I make is really from my soul. There's what's tied in with the name. Right. For the reason I also, it's soul music. And, uh, I'm coming with, you know what I'm saying, different, different thought process. Um, when it comes to my music about the most high, like I'm I'm trying to wake people up to like what's really going on in the world. Okay. Who people are um who who the real Jews are in the world, who the real Israelites in the world are. That's what my project basically about. Um, which are who people call um black people today. I don't know if y'all know, but hopefully I wake somebody up today. Okay, okay. It's not those people they need real I know that, man, Deuteronomy 28. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. Like, what I'm on is y'all, y'all really gotta listen to, to really fully get the message. I ain't trying to take up. So, I could, I could talk for hours about that. Right, right, right. I could talk for days about that shit, you know? Right, right. We're gonna bring, but, um, we're gonna bring you back to talk about the political. You know what I mean? Talk about, about, the, about the political stuff like COVID. Your thoughts probably on um, what happened out there in Haiti, you know what I mean, with the president, um, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I just, yeah, yeah, I got a lot to say about that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, <laughs> you feel me? So I'm like, yeah, talk right. about like all that, you know what I mean, too, just give your insight and perspective on it and everything, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that in the future. So um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and I'll close out and everything like that. I want people to uh, go ahead and finish listening to... Uh, the song and everything like that as we close out. And um, thank you. Thank you for coming through, man. If you had to tell us more about the song and who you are as a person. Yeah, appreciate y'all having me, man. Definitely, I'll, I'll be uh, waiting to talk about that COVID. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about that COVID shit, too, man. Just let me know. Bet, bet, bet. I'll do that. All right, thanks, so Appreciate your time. I appreciate you, bro. All right, later.